uh, on smaller. this as much as possible. I, I think I look, I think I look handsome from this angle. I think I look I think handsome it. too from this angle. This Just is from a lower, angle. lower angle than usual I have on today. Maybe I should do like this. You know, this is like I can contemplate shit. Do like this. Welcome back. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it all looks good. Just so they know, we know we're live. Welcome back, right? As Mike just said, to uh, <laughs> Good Vibes Live, episode 20 something, six, eight, seven, 27. maybe 27. 27. Yeah, 27. yeah, 27. I think. <clears throat> um, what, what a trip. What a trip. I have a project to do tonight for work that I was supposed to do over the weekend, but I was too busy doing mushrooms in the woods. We should join the 27 Podcast Club. And kill ourselves? Right on camera. I'm going to send these clips to an editor already. He'll work it out, but it's going to be our biggest episode yet. I've been low-key freaking out about some things I said last week. I want to clear the air. What did you say? Uh, Something about Dick Cheney. Um, I want to clear the air and, and make it known that everything I say on here is indeed a joke. You say about Dick Cheney? I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I don't really want to repeat it because say I feel it. like after I like listened back to the episode, I was like, "Oh fuck, dude!" Like, yeah. if I ever do want to work in the entertainment industry, I should watch a little of what I say. I shouldn't. What did you say though? Fucking right. f- Dick Cheney can suck a dick, bro. Him and Donald yeah. Rumsfeld are gonna burn in hell. Well, no I said I, I wanted him to get shot in the face. And I wasn't oh, sure if dude, that was pushing no it too far. Okay, okay. Up. Hey, hey! I that's not the worst sure. thing you said on that episode. I promise you. Okay, I was like, we're, I was like, literally, I was tripping dude, balls Dick this Cheney weekend. Dick Cheney can literally suck our dicks. Okay, well, yeah, he, I, you could say he that. He made though. money off of the Iraq War. True. The Afghanistan War and nine mm-hmm. eleven was probably his idea. Isn't it Dick Cheney? Isn't that fault? worse than saying he gets shot in the face? It's not even a. You know, I see what you're saying. I was just like, yo, maybe that was too far. It, well, it was, a, to be fair, it was satirical and it was a callback to him shooting someone in the face and getting away with it. Thank so, you. Thank you. I, I think you're fine. I think I'm fine too. Now that, now that you've told me I'm fine, I believe I'm fine because I was low key freaking out. Dick like, Cheney fuck. should be held down and fucked. <laughs> I was like, yo, is that too much saying that Dick Cheney should get shot in the face? Is that going too far? But. Is what I you said what? going too far? No. I you don't think what? there's that's, a that's lot of innocent people for. in, so, uh, you know, the Middle East would, uh, you know. Agree. Would agree. Mike, you would what, are you think... what are you doing there? I'm what scrolling you, up you... a Jimmy Jam. What's a Jimmy Jam? A joint. Jazz cigarette? A jazz cigarette. <laughs> you like that? I didn't hate it. I just came up with that myself. Yeah. It's my karma that's... original. Jazz cigarette. It feels like yeah, you stole it from like the marvelous Miss Maisel or something. But yo, that's a great fucking show. No, it's not. I think it is. I'm kidding. Yeah. I think it's a phenomenal show. I've only seen the first season though. I've only I, seen the first season as well. She went to Paris and they kind of lost me when it became not about stand up. I'm sure it gets back to it, but I just tuned out. Isn't but it about? Say, isn't I it saw, about loosely like loosely based on Lucille Ball? I'd have to know more about Lucille Ball. From I the only Lucy. things I was really interested in. Oh, really? Could it be? Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, that would, I really totally was way more interested in the fact that they had like Lenny Bruce in there and shit. Lenny Bruce, you know about Lenny Bruce? No. Uh, he's an OG comedian. Like Shocker. Liam watched the, the show about a woman comedian for the male comedian involved. That seems like the worst way to look at it. I watched <laughs> And then Lenny (laughs) Bruce showed up and that was really interesting to me because I had a personal connection and I thought this character was fiction, not also a work of Lucille, you know, history. I mean, I could be wrong. If it comes down to who I care more about Lenny Bruce or Lucille Ball, it's going to be Lenny Bruce every time. But it's because you're sexist. No, he did a lot for comedians. This, this guy, right? So did Lucille Ball. He was before, yo, he inspired Carlin. Okay. I love Lucy inspired female comedians everywhere. Dude, chill. I'm just Relax. saying I'm more I'm of an not ally. Saying that. I'm more of an ally than you are. Okay, but Lenny Bruce <coughs> straight up. Okay, Listen, this is I'm, just to, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to just just back up. 
I'm trying back to pick off. up slack for when I like, said Dick Cheney should get shot in the face. I'm trying yeah, to it's very back clear, good grace. very transparent. You're pandering, bro. I I don't know enough about Lucille Ball. Okay, if she was a big influence to other female comedians, that makes a lot of sense. Have you ever heard of I Love Lucy? Who gives a shit? It's it's a female led comedy. Are you serious? <laughs> From what the sixties? I bet Maybe it's awesome. Earlier. How many episodes do you watch of that show, Mike? Tell me. How many three. full episodes of that show did you watch? I used to actually watch it kind of frequently with my mom. Yeah, is that that sounds real? That sounds like something you would do. Not Listen. the kid I went to college with. I'll tell you that much. Not the kid I went to college with. What a lot of people don't know about me is that I'm a mama's boy. I'm a big mama's boy. I do not care at all. <laughs> now let's not get lost in the weeds here. What I said about Lucille Ball, I don't even remember honestly. I don't remember. It was bad, probably. But to the point that I'm trying to make here, Lenny Bruce, right? The guy that like is he would he would you know it's like the fucking 60s, right? 50s. Bro, Mello is freaking it's, the fuck out right now. This man is hiding under a table right now because of the fireworks. Oh, they're still doing that? Isn't it like fucking July 6th? Rude. Denver does fireworks year round. Okay. Interesting. It's quite neat. Uh, I usually have to go to uh, a local baseball game to get my kicks for fireworks, um, not during the 4th of July weekend. Fireworks are also anyway. illegal in Colorado. And mass. They're really cracking <laughs> down on it. And New York. Just kidding. But uh, Lenny Bruce, right, would, would go up on stage, do stand-up comedy, right? But he would say really fucking wild shit for the time. And he would get arrested right off stage. He went to jail tons, tons of fucking times just by, because of the shit he said on stage. But then it brought a bunch of, um, you know, it, it progressed the medium by cracking down walls and shit like that, pushing the boundaries and in ways, you know, that like we'd hear shit today. It wouldn't be that like edgy or whatever, but back in the day it was wild, right? Where you're not even supposed to cuss or whatever. You had to go up there, be wherever, wherever the suits suck. Uh, but like they had menstrual shows and shit, but like uh, that's where they, a girl rips her ovaries out on stage. Um, For yeah. real? No. Oh. No. Um, that would be pretty rock and roll. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, he went to jail a ton. He, he was the biggest comic on earth. Everyone knew his fucking name at the time. And then the government started fucking with him, sued him over everything. He lost. All, he, he spent all of his money fighting the government. Eventually died of a heroin overdose. Nice. It's pretty rock and roll. It's very rock and roll. In fact, he was a rock star as far Sounds as like it. go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did the government killed Lenny Bruce? Lucio Ball. Also... And we can't we can't say Dick Cheney should be shot in the head. Get off her fucking dick, okay? No one gives a <laughs> shit. You're. I bet you're not a good person. If you have a problem with us, I bet you're government hiding some shot shit. JFK. I bet in you're the hiding head. some shit from yourself, man. If you have a problem with us, okay? We're just truthers. Over Dick Cheney, who should be shot in by a BB gun? <laughs> yeah, it's some crazy shit you said. Now that I now that I almost said it myself. Yeah, you just you had to stop yourself. You said, "Wait a minute, should I say this?" I mean, an eye for an eye, right? At the very least, makes the whole world blind, Liam. I played Call of Duty as well, bro. This is where that would flash when you died good vibes live so and just trying to kill people not be philosophical <laughs> arguably the opposite of good vibes arguably now i'm i'm not who's to say what good vibes are not me arguably the opposite though would be shooting somebody in the face those are bad vibes. decades of war unnecessarily where tons to over two hundred thousand civilians died in iraq now there's two approaches we could take here. We could take the love wins approach. We could I'm take doubling the idea. down. Fuck Dick Cheney. Fuck Dick Cheney. Listen, hey, listen. I'm always team fuck Dick Cheney. Whether or not I'm gonna say what I said again, you know, that one's up. That one's up for debate. Just because I'm thinking, I'm thinking like, what if one day, you know, Yo, like a big I'm... Hollywood deal? Oh, they say, you oh, know oh, what, Mike? Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Is tribal sleeve here? Steve. <laughs> Hello, right, Captain. We, got, we, we have a special guest who should be coming in any second now. I'm going to drink some water while we transition. When his audio is connected. 
Yo, you missed out. We were we were talking about whether or not we should say if it's okay for us to say Dick Cheney should get shot in the face. That's the moral dilemma on the floor right now. It says he's in, but it says it connecting to audio though. We're not making someone up here. We're not doing a bit. There should be. There we are. There we are. There we are. Oh, oh, I hear a voice. I hear a voice. There we, we are. I'm driving. I'm a little drunk. Oh, oh wow. 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 That is satire. Not worth it. Satire. That is not worth it. <laughs> we are I'm on a, a comedy why? show. Just, just wait till you, uh, you could just wait. You're nope. almost at, I'm going to make no. you guys watch me drive to get cigarettes. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is super. <laughs> you, you'll go to jail over this zone. I'm, I'm I will. Sorry. It's going to be sick. You're going to oh, change and... your shit to good vibes live to fucking drunk guys live. <laughs> is that your how your name is spelled? Yeah. Yeah, that's how my name is spelled. My that's... mom's from Ireland. It's in Gaelic. Okay. Okay. Well, now, now it's badass. Now it's badass. Yeah, another reason why I'm drinking and driving. Uh, my mom's from Ireland. What, what do, do you want? Do you get to tell women you're from you're from Ireland? Yeah, well, no. What I do is I go up to girls that I think are hot, and then I introduce myself at the bar, and then I tell them that if they can spell my name, that I'll pick up their and all their friends' bar tab. Uh, it works literally every time. That's a, honestly a great move. I it's a great move. Uh, it hasn't worked once, and I was like <laughs> oh. so I was so shook, dude. Like so shook. And then when we're leaving the bar, one of my drunk ass friends, Bill James, Liam, was I'm like, I, I'm flipping out. Like, I can't believe she spelled my name. Can't believe it. And then Billy was like, oh, yeah, actually, I told her, like, off to the side. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Uh, she just made me pick up a $160 bar tab. Because He was like, I was sick of your shit, dude. I was like, you made me, you could have just told me not to do it. <laughs> I done it. But instead, you made me pick up a $160 bar tab. Oh, I was like, yeah. he's, the, he's the criminal in this situation. He's a goddamn criminal. That's 100% true. That's yeah. um, a really messed up thing to do to somebody. That is it a was really pretty, messed up thing that, that, Is that person still your buddy, dude? Yeah, it's Billy, dude. He's just was a, he's a drunk idiot. I know, I know who just, Billy is. Do you, like, do you want to fuck him up after a show? Bill James? Bill motherfucking James? <laughs> yeah, I hope he sees this. Yeah, we're going to fucking jump him. Me, Bill, Bill James doesn't have internet, last I heard. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Definitely doesn't. Dude. But he's not, still Jay. not since they locked him up. All right, guys. At the liquor store. Did it, did it, did it. <laughs> what kind of what kind of cigarettes are you gonna get? Well, this breads, is an important obviously. Cowboy More breads. Yeah. I like it. Are you a are you a casual smoker? Or are you a addicted smoker? Here's, are you here's a drinking the smoker? Wow, he's here's really you're really I going. You're carrying the phone smoke, into the but I store. Smoke all the time. Hold Say on. again, Liam was rude. I, said, I, 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 only, I only smoke when I drink, but I drink all the time, so that's my problem. That's fair. Sure. That's fair. I mean, right, I feel ready? you. Hold on. I'm going to unjoin this audio for a second. Well, no, nah, I, I want to interview the cashier. Yeah. All, right, hold on. all right. All right. We're good. Then we'll interview Don't the cashier. That. That's a... <laughs> Don't do that. All right. We're not going to use these. <laughs> oh, man. I think we can interview the cashier. Yeah, yeah. All right, some, uh, some Owen on the street content. That was that was yeah, but you gotta sign NDAs and shit. Everyone's a pussy these days, man. You'll go to jail. This gonna... brand that we believe in so much, it just would be ridiculous to throw it all away. Do you really need someone in the general public? I'm pretty sure you can just go to the general public and interview random people in the street. I don't know no. how how true this is, Liam. No, I think you can do it. You're telling you me. Every kid on YouTube yeah. and TikTok that does like man on the street gets somebody to sign an NDA. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no chance. Yeah. I don't believe you. Any of the ones worth watching? Yeah. Yeah, worth watching. We're not yet worth watching, so we wouldn't have to do it yet. We're absolutely worth watching. We're worth watching, but we're you know, not. Now that I, now that I, we don't now, got the you know, numbers. Now that I know where you stand. Well, we don't got the numbers yet because we're not, doing, we're not doing man on the street. That's the problem. Well, I. Wonder if we missed out on an we opportunity did. We to can, do that. We could still hop in. We could still hop in. I don't want to take the risk. Of what? It sounds like, you know, what if the person's way more interesting than any of us? Well, that's good for views. Mm -hmm. We're back. They're going to be on a... No. Oh. Here we are. We're back, oh, baby. Did you hear the conversation at all? No, no, I had a mute it. I was in the store and I didn't know what was going to be said. I was like, eh. 
What do you think about man on the 9/11, street? 11 9 11. What do I think about 9 11? Well, <laughs> hilarious. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, it, it probably was an inside job, like eight, Definitely. 80%. Do you Definitely. think you have a problem? Would you have a problem with uh, Dick Cheney being shot in the face? Well, uh, to no, use him I mean, into it. Dick Cheney. If it was an inside job, it was 100% Dick Cheney's fault. So, like, true. No, I mean, it's a complex operation. You know, you had to shoot down that one plane over Pennsylvania, come up with a whole story. All right, but like, it seems like pinning it on Dick Cheney, it's a complex thing, but you just pin it on like fucking whatever that Arab dude, Osama, and then, and then it's all good. No, I mean, I think and that's what I they think, did. And everyone's like, yeah, it was this one guy. I, I mean, it, uh, I, I definitely wasn't just the one guy, it was a whole organization. He wasn't on those planes, Osama. He was too busy, like getting the CIA. laid. Like, in the Osama CIA was getting it. laid. Like, is that's it, guys, is that's the true facts. The whole reason Osama you get was like crushing that. pussy on the yeah. regular. Nobody could. No, no. Honestly, <laughs> very few people fucked the way a terrorist leader fucks. Like they, those dudes fuck. That's you telling me history, bro. Yeah, that's just facts. Pablo Escobar wasn't fucking crazy. Impossible. That man was crushing puss. Osama bin Laden, crushing puss. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I um, I did. I feel like Pablo was crushing way more puss. You think oh, yeah, Pablo sure. crushed? So how know, many chicks he had hooked on coke, dude? That's fair, but yeah, Osama like bin Laden the, was also yeah. a really wealthy man, too. I mean, obviously, Pablo was a wealthy man. I feel like they both just fucked an incredible amount. Who fucked more? All right. I guess it's yeah, Pablo. I don't know. I Kareem like Abdul-Jabbar. I feel like Pablo was oh, okay. cooler, was cooler wealthy. Because, like, Pablo was Abdul-Jabbar. so wealthy that he could just, like, make the cops do whatever they want. And, like, Osama was just so wealthy that he was like, I'm going to blow up New York. That's like, I feel like you're using your wealth for like not fun Allegedly, shit. allegedly. Remember? Well, he made allegedly. money off the war too. Allegedly. His family profited off the war as well. He was also why. like in an inheritor, an inheritor of like millions or billions of dollars. Billions the, of dollars. I believe it's like billions yeah. of dollars. Yeah, yeah. Um, they were they were wealthy family. folk. Well, they did brother him after. <laughs> Speaking of wealth, Allegedly. guys, I'm walking into my beautiful apartment building. It smells like hot trash in here. Bro, you homeless people routinely piss and shit in my stairwell of my apart, apartment. Oh, really? Oh, bro. Check out the dog. All the time. Oh, oh, oh it's a dog. dog. You ever uh, leave that dog in a hot car? Uh, all the time. I actually, dude, I feel so bad today. I swear <laughs> I looked at the weather and I was like, oh, it's going to be 78. Open some windows. I was like, whatever. Didn't turn my mm. ACs on. Then I was at mm. work and it was 90. And I was like, Oh, he's probably so hot. Cooking. Come on. Yeah. Wow. That was very honest. He still loves me though. That <laughs> was very honest. Man. Yeah. Baby. I um what's the dog's name? Yano. Yano. How do you spell that? Y A N O. It's my okay. sister's dog. He's a Puerto Rican street dog. Comes from the streets of Puerto Rico. That was his name when he got here. He likes licking boy. knees, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. Get that. Yeah, the more sorry. dog content, the better. Yeah, where's uh, oh, yeah. where's Mello, dude? Mello is currently hiding underneath my end table because there's fireworks going off here in Denver. Oh, dude, he last night I brought him out, and he doesn't like fireworks, but him on a leash with fireworks, nope, can't do it. He literally, <laughs> I thought he was gonna break his neck. I was God like, damn, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, it's pretty horrific. You yeah. know, when you think they about have Vietnam it, flashbacks. Yo, serious question, right? Yes. Independence Day. You know, we're supposed to celebrate something, I think. Freedom. And freedom, it's a bunch of like ambiguous Independence. things, though, right? Respect the troops, right? That's probably a part of it, the sacrifices they made, you know? But like, the I'm only respecting the OG troops. Like, oh, that's the, what, is that what that's about? I yeah. think that's what's that. They're the only ones who died for my my freedom from Britain. Yeah. I'm yeah. respecting the OG troops. Hey. Heard? So, mm. Who's that? You, know. you guys want to make a guest appearance on this podcast? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Coming to pick up his dog. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, yeah. That's my sister picking up the dog. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Famous. Yeah. All right. Yeah, she's going straight to the millions. Millions of views, dude. Dog mm-hmm. content, brother. I've been learning the algorithm. You gotta include something 
family related in the title it always makes the title sound better like stepsis or stepbrother yes yeah it's my stepsis dude oh stepsister what are you doing right (laughs) we are the how whatever that's that's trait that's been talked about that's been talked about what has yeah like the incest porn stuff oh Oh, i mean we have it's been done about it we don't need to though like, what's I feel like say? I've got Very a lot popular. to say on it. I've got a lot to say on the porn Whatever. industry All right, let's, in general. Let's go. Okay, well, we can do it. We can do it. We don't have to. I would like to. I feel well, like that's I something feel like we should like, talk about. You know, what are the fans? Okay, let's guys. do it. Fucking let's do Everybody it. Everybody else is gone oh, yeah. now. We're back. We're back. <laughs> How do you feel about step-sibling porn, Owen? not into it um i've never had a step sibling but i have so many sisters that i just think it's weird man Dude, you gotta try <laughs> that man i heard that i think it's yeah weird. i have three i have three sisters dude so like i don't know man i think like they're trying to normalize it through the porn industry and i yeah don't like it, it starts it starts with step sibling porn exactly and then the next thing you know they next thing you know they're like biological bro what are you doing it's it's predictive programming. They're trying to get us to start fucking our siblings. Can yeah. I talk about First, my? Sorry, I didn't mean to no, interject. No, you're good. You guys you're were good. having such a fluid conversation. <laughs> and I'm just like it. over here. Here's an anchor. Here we go. Um. Okay. Okay. So why why are why are, why are all the hot chicks doing the incest porn? Um. Probably because the views. I get paid. The views, and that's what it boils down to. The money, I guess. Yeah, more money, more views. Money is definitely what it boils down to. These what women you are you're getting acting. paid. Yeah, you're yeah, acting, like right? if you go like ten years ago, I'm sure all the hot girls were in. I don't know whatever was hot ten years ago. Big eight. tit porn. Yeah, big oh. tit. Yeah. When Could when did when did we make the shift from tits to ass as a society? I, I, I don't think know, it, but I'm very I happy about it. Plot decided. Yeah, honestly, that might that might really be it. Because yeah. I'm a, I'm personally an ass man through and through. For sure, it can be a dude. Who cares? Booty is booty. I love both, <clears throat> but if I had to pick between a chick with small tits and a fat ass, or fat tits and a small ass, like obviously I'm picking the fat ass. So like, every time, yeah, yeah, yeah because like sure. tits are whatever. Like as my dad likes to say, uh, tits are for kids. <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah, it's that's true. a very smart guy. Very smart guy. Intelligent. He just loves blacking out on a daily basis. <laughs> Who doesn't? These I days. like mommy's milk. I'm <laughs> okay, excited. So, so one day I'm excited for my wife to be pregnant whoa. and be able to produce milk from her boobies because I'm 100% going to try it. Dude, you just got to don't waste just, your time. Just find a pregnant chick. Right now, just go up to yeah. a pregnant woman and be like, hey, can I try mommy's milk? They're people too. When they're single and pregnant, that, there's nothing worse. Too. You gotta get. Well, if they're fucked. single, then yeah, I'm, I'm definitely who, about that. Who am I? I don't talk like this. Would you? Like, would you mix it with like Nesquik chocolate powder? Uh, obviously. What yeah, fucking question do. is that? One of, one of my good friends uh, has like just had a kid, and I saw a video of one of my other friends, like a female friend, taking a mm. shot of breast milk, and I thought it was the grossest thing I've ever seen. So you wouldn't yeah. do it? No, no. Out of I'm my- just girlfriend's tits no I don't what about know. out of your wife's tits maybe but i was about to say when you were like, for sure when my wife is pregnant i was like whoa you want to get married and have a kid i don't well, know sure true I yeah i mean like ideally it would be a mistake that i only try the milk of then leave and i wouldn't be married <laughs> right <the> right <laughs> right <laughs> right that's okay. what yeah cigarettes <laughs> yeah exactly i'll be <laughs> right back son i'm just gonna get a pack of smokes quick 25 years later, he's a professional athlete. My yeah. son, the line was so long. <laughs> <laughs> the line, the line, so fucking long. Oh, that's good. Oh, man. What about um? anything else we want to talk about on porn? I just feel I like we opened <laughs> that. True. We opened, we opened, that uh, we opened the box and. Um, Who you know, had Pandora's. more sex? Magic Johnson. Or Magic. Lisa uh, Ann. Or who? Lisa Which one's Ann. Lisa Ann? The milk. Oh, she's a porn Magic. star, right? Yeah. Magic Johnson. You think Magic Johnson? Yeah, 100%. He had sex with like 10,000 women, allegedly. Yeah, that's Fuck what I'm saying. Yeah. That's so many. 
That's so like many. That's really damn. That's wild. You know the theory that Freddie Mercury wasn't actually gay. He just had sex with so many women that he decided to start fucking dudes because just good. Well, I mean, that's, I think uh, he was bi anyway. Was yeah. it like? I think he was just a dude who fucked. Yeah, I think he was just a dude who just fucked everything. Yeah. Because, like, I mean, no, nobody I know will ever be in the position. Like, I've had sex with too many women. Maybe that just happens. You're like, dude, I'm at like twenty thousand women. I'm over. <laughs> <laughs> I've had all the pussy in the world. Like, I'm ready for some male butt. Man butt. <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely think you reach a point sexually where you're like, yeah, I'm ready to experiment the man butt. I've, I've had enough of. The, I've had it so, so much. Maybe I like that too. Who knows? Maybe I'm just horny. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'll ever get to the point where I'm like, I need to try a man butt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, 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 you're five days, six days past when it would have been socially acceptable. Yeah. No. yeah. You tried all the man hey, butt. Shout man out. Right. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. I, I probably, um, like, if I was stuck on an island, right? If I was in prison, on an island. Yeah, oh, if I was on an island prison. Alcatraz. Australia. True. You're in Australia. Are you fucking dudes? I'm gonna Hell probably fucking do yeah. Bro, truthfully, one of my biggest fears in life, probably my biggest fear in life, is go. going to jail and getting fucked by a dude. Oh yeah. That would be that'd be tough. That's not like that's not my biggest fear, just because I don't think I'm doing anything to go to jail. I don't you know. say that, but look at what you're just dude, doing. Look at what dude, you're yeah, just yeah. doing. I, you can wind up in jail oh, real quick. I'm, we're gonna we're gonna edit out that shit, be, be, which I don't even know how to edit, dog. I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> I, it's like gonna be a real pain in the ass, but I'm gonna do it because I care about you, and you could for sure go to jail for for that. That's, well, not if you just it's satire. <laughs> it's satire, but dude. It, I, not, it, I never, it's nobody, there's no proof. This is no duel. There, there is though. There's there's proof. But he there's wasn't proof. drinking anything it's while in the driving. He wasn't drinking while driving. He picked up cigarettes. No, and dude. I don't even get. I wasn't even going to talk about. It. I was assuming he wasn't actually drunk driving. To be, to, I was going to assume the benefit of the doubt. No, but, I had like. It's fine. I was probably. Yeah, you, the, you were out with your mom. He was you? under the you legal son of a bitch. Limit. <laughs> That's what matters. Yeah, I was. Yeah. 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 And Satire. Then my daughter, up her dog but then she was like oh do you guys want to meet and i was like for a drink and i was like yeah obviously <laughs> i was like what? but i guess so i guess so what the hell why not but um yeah yeah no i mean the the fact of the matter is you could go to we should have interviewed her but yeah you could go to jail for most of that and um I'm just, just a gonna, lot of things in general yeah, yeah. like be- we <laughs> use this as a platform to push products that we shouldn't but we do what products do we push here? We sell T-shirts. Get it on uh, Good Vibes Live uh, by Brianna on um, T Republic. Uh, I'm good at ad reads. Here we are. We're doing an ad read. Mike, you got anything to add to this ad read? Yeah, uh, I still want the rights to Good Vibes Live, so I that can is, make my own T-shirts. But you don't have the balls to ask the person yourself. That's interesting. I don't even have her number or anything. Would you? Would you? I mean, I messaged. I asked her about it. And she was like, uh, "Like, yeah, we should talk later." And then I guess I didn't pursue it more. I want the rights. Actively. I would sell fire merch. That's all I'm saying. All right, that's that's an ad read. Here we go. That was good. We're back to the show. Owen, who the fuck are you? Huh? Who are you? Um, I'm an who alcohol you? engineer. Engineer? What? Oh yeah, this has got a big brain. Yes, I work as a mechanical engineer. Um, what the fuck? That's what my dad does. Yeah, that is I, I did not think that before. Before I thought you worked at a grocery store and did stand-up comedy. I was like, that's probably. <laughs> Dude, on Memorial Day weekend, uh, I went to the Cape with like two friends that I know really well and like six of their friends that I just don't didn't know. And I was getting shit faced. I was eating mushrooms. I was fucking like doing whatever <laughs> and fucking. Then, like, a couple, like, days in, when I was like, oh, how's it? I started a new job. She's like, how's the new job going? And I was like, oh, it's kind of sick. Uh, I was like, but it's weird to be people's boss. Like, I'm, uh, and there, this girl who had, like, just met me, like, looked so shocked. She was like, you're somebody's <laughs> boss? And I was like, oh, I'm, like, 80 people's boss. Jesus <laughs> Christ. She was like, what the fuck? She was like, no, you're fucking not. Like, <laughs> 
And I was like, yeah. And then she's like, well, what do you do? And I was like, oh, I'm a mechanical engineer. And then she's just flipping out even more. She's like, no fucking way, dude. And I was like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I was like, math was just always really easy to me. And I was like, I think people make a lot of money being good at math. I'm just going to go to school for engineering. And that's, that's fair. It was, how would you rate I, it? How would I rate being an engineer? Yeah, because we shit on what we did in college a lot. I mean, but it was. You it, sound like you did something productive. Good thing True. to go for. I mean, I can go anywhere and get a job. Yeah, and I get sweet brag. <laughs> but yeah, that's I tight, bro. Pretty well. Good for you. I didn't get paid too hot. I was at the same place that I interned at for a while. It was a tiny little company. And then I was like, it's time to switch jobs. And I switched and got like a 44% raise. And was like, <laughs> why did I switch mad long ago, dude? Like, what? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not really good with the math, but 44%, I think, is like pretty a high. It's it a lot of money, on, right? Yeah, that's, it depends that's, on what you're getting paid. That's a little bit more than a half, lot of right? Money. $4. Uh, it's less than half. Six, four, See, that's what I mean. I was never good at the math. Well, that's 44% why percent would be less than half, Liam. 50% un, would be half. Un, unreal. You're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are uh, you, you mean, wow. Sorry, keep going. Well, so when I went, like, Liam, you know, Mike, I don't know if you know, I went down to Austin for a week to, like, do mm -hmm. comedy and, and whatever. And then I was like, I might move here. I was like, two days in, I was like, I, I think I'm just going to move here. I don't have a girlfriend. I have a shitty job. Like, whatever. Like, I, I was like, there's so much comedy down here. And then three days in, so I was on day two. And then on day three, I got a job offer in Massachusetts for, like, mad money. And I was like, all right, well, I'm going to just yeah. take that. Where did you yeah, live prior? I, was li I still live in Worcester, same place. But okay, like, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I went down on like a vacation just to like check it out because I had a couple friends that moved down there and I was like, this is fucking sick. Like, what the hell? I was like the first two days, I hit like five open mics and I was like, damn, like this is this is what That's I want. Cool. Because yeah. I blocked all of them. It was fucking sick. How long have you been doing comedy for? Coming up on two years in. Mm. But obviously a pretty big chunk of that was COVID. So like. True. Yeah. I had the I had the stage experience, but it was stage every day and like taking seven months off was like pretty rough. Did yeah, you do anything to compensate? I made fucking Instagram reels and <laughs> box and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what we that's what we had to do. Uh, oh, and, uh, COVID was terrible as a comedian, right? It was worse for us than arguably anyone else. It was. <laughs> It was worse for us than every single person that died. Every single person who had a loved one that died. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Because like, you gotta realize, Mike. Hold on. We're, we're like, we're like up there, making people's days better just with our words. Like, we're pretty much better than gods, you know. <laughs> and yeah. to just like give that to someone and to take it away from them, that's fucked up. Yeah, that is it, fucked it was up. fucked up. It was fucked. And also just to take the one thing that I enjoy about my day and be like, yes, mm. why you can't do it. Even if you wanted to, you can't. I was like, yeah. I was like, God fucking damn it. I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna drink a 30 pack at 7 a.m. I was it, like, <laughs> it definitely affected a lot of people's livelihoods too, that like aren't quite big old comedians yet, but are on the grind. You know, that's really their main hustle. And then blop, you just can't do it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a national headliner, um, <laughs> and like yeah, people know my name you, everywhere. You know, national headliner Mar, right? That's, that's what yeah. yeah I, well, that's that's like how I I was being introduced like, uh, with that for a while, but it, then it just felt like I was doing cooler shit. So I had them start introducing me with with that stuff. Um, that's pretty. Yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty cool. But yeah, no, it was hell. It was hell. I uh, I think some of the uh, you know the stuff people don't talk enough about are the comedians that had to really struggle and um you know it was hard you know i uh i truly think like where's our oscar winning you know just a guy fucking let me do a zoom show not put a gun in his fucking mouth like how many liam how many zoom shows did you do i did one and um okay, okay. so we're I on did the one I did one and I was like, yeah. I will never, ever do that again. I want to fucking kill myself, dude. More it, made, it made me hate the thing I like really cared about. Like Same. it was just terrible. Yeah. 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 It, oh, um, go. Did you watch, no. did you watch Bo Burnham special? 
I loved it, dude. I loved it. Yeah, yeah. You like that, Mike? You like that? Men of low intellect like Bo Burnham. Oh, wow. Okay. Here's the thing. After watching that, I knew Bo Burnham was, like, insanely talented. But after Mm -hmm. watching, like, like, produce and video and edit and, like, Mm -hmm. even the lighting, I was like, he's the most talented person alive. Him and Jamie Foxx. That's it. Yeah. Donald yeah, Mike. Lover. This is this is really hurting Mike right now. I don't I, think he's going to recover. I'll have to give it another chance. I'll have to give it another chance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bo Burnham has never once made me even smile. Dude, that's not true. It doesn't true. even make sense. Like honestly, there's like true. stuff I could see you liking from him quite a lot. It's because you there's don't something know you've me. watched enough. I'm just, I'm just too smart for him, I guess. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Way too intelligent. Yeah. 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 <laughs> He doesn't do it for me. Dude, he's so fucking funny. No free he's, promos. Yeah, he's fucking... No free ads. We're cutting this out. We're okay. bleep, it, right. bleep his name right, out. Right. Bleep his name Massachusetts out. Massachusetts comedian Bo Burnham. Is, first is he from Massachusetts? Yeah, dude, we Caitlin. all are. All the good ones are from here. Of course he's from Massachusetts. Yeah. All the good ones are from Massachusetts. Yeah, and then we moved to New York, conquer that city. Who, and then who we is from Massachusetts other than like Bill Burr? Louis C.K., Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's from um, Massachusetts? Yeah, yeah, Bill Burr, like you said, uh, Dennis Leary. Think about um, that. Joe Rogan, Steve Carell, and John Krasinski all went to the same high school. Did they really? In yeah, New- yeah. Were any yeah. of them at, there at the same time? Uh, I don't know. Steve Carell and Joe Rogan might have been, but also um, BJ Novak, Ryan from The Office, like really? Brad mm. John Krasinski, Jim. What? That's actually yeah. pretty yeah, crazy. Dude. You guys New- talk mad shit, you people that live in New York, but like, we got way cooler shit going on in Mass. No one talks I mean, we about We got it. tons of cool shit going on. We have fucking on. Zika virus, bro. Was that not <laughs> everywhere? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing door, I just remember doing door to door at the time and like really being concerned about like, yo, am I going to get fucking Zika virus just Zika walking virus. around here? I don't even really remember what Zika virus did, but me I either. know if it stopped me from being able to do comedy. I would have known about Yo, it. Yo, you remember you remember swine flu? How it came from the fucking lab. Uh what? Swine flu. I, I was more of a bird flu type of guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Swine, swine flu was like a big joke at my high school. One kid on our on our baseball team got sick and kids started saying he had swine flu and he cried about it. He literally cried. He was like, I didn't have swine flu, guys. And everyone was like, Yo, you clearly That's- had swine flu. Mike, are you from New York City or are you just from New York? I'm from Long Island, but then I lived upstate. Really? You're city. from Long Island? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know yeah. you were a Long Island guy. A lot of funny comedians from Long Island in particular. Laurel Park, what you know about it. But I, I grew up like an hour north of the city. Okay, because when you were saying a kid cried because you said he had swine flu, I was like, it can't be New York City. No, Nobody's- no. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fighting if that's the case. It's not, yeah, it's you're fun. fighting. <laughs> you said that i was under the impression that you were from new york city no 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 my family is but i didn't i didn't grow up there i grew up above it i grew up on like the commuter like the suburbs of new york city did you yeah. mike did you on college too what happened did you play baseball in college too? i did i did yeah okay. yeah so liam is this conversation is not for you at all i'm sorry yeah don't worry i'm gonna look over here at my room you guys so, talk how, how do you feel about shohei otani dude dude He's fucking oh, bro, are sick. You serious? He, so he, good. he oh, literally is like the best baseball player ever. Like it's crazy. What he exactly do. what I was going to say. Exactly cool. how I was going to say it. High school baseball. It fucking Shohei Otani is the coolest thing I've ever seen. In my yeah, life. dude. He's unreal. That's, that's such a cool thing to happen to the game. Cause dude. He uh, should wait. be on the Yankees though, because it would make it. Bro. Cause like who gives a fuck about the angels? Nobody. Mm. nobody nobody gives a fuck about the angels the the yankees are obviously the biggest market in in baseball and if you put him on the yankees and win a world series i would cry i would i would do anything to see another yankees world series at this point it's been been 11 years it's been 11 or 12 years now oh my god that's long to you fucking new yorkers jesus christ you you haven't got to see tons of red Sox world series yeah but the people before me paid their fucking dues yeah they paid their fucking dues yeah yeah well yeah in our age group it's so funny like people that are yankees fans like no look at the rings i'm like dude all the 50 years before you were born what happened literally thousand we've won four like fuck off yeah it yeah, it is unfortunate we we We've had the, the talent. We've had the talent for sure, especially the past few years. If the Astros didn't fucking cheat, we would have won the World <laughs> Series that year. That's uh, all I'm saying. 
All right, Mike, if this makes you feel a little better, when I was young, I hated my dad so much that I was like, yeah, I'm a Yankees fan. <laughs> I love Derek. And bro. actually, Alfonso Soriano was my favorite. Alfonso Soriano was my favorite player too. Bro, yeah. my first my first like Yankee game that I remember going to, Alfonso Soriano hit a leadoff home run, and I was like, that's the fucking guy. Him and Jorge yeah, Posada. Yeah. A Ducky Matsui and Bernie Williams, dude. Those, mm. those are the squad, the absolute well, squad. They won some World Series. Yeah, yeah, they were winners. They, yeah, were, they win- were winners. Jeter, Jeter was a winner. Yeah, I mean, his po- he's played more than a full season of postseason games, and his it's- batting higher than his career batting average. So because like, he's a fucking killer. He's, and God, he left but, gift baskets for women after he would bang them. He'd give them a little gift basket. So That's sick. incredible. That's the he man. Also, I heard that he gave like everybody in Hollywood herpes, which is just awesome. I would love if that's true. I, uh, sure. I've heard this myth as well, that he jerks off to his own highlight tapes and would say, yeah, yeah. Jeets. Wow. <laughs> I, I hope you didn't just make that up. No, no, I've, I've really, that's like a, an urban legend. That's hilarious. Uh, my brother, biggest Boston sports fan in the world, fucking when Jeter retired, he, just, he looked at me and he was like, so uh, now that he retired, I just want to tell you, Derek Jeter, favorite baseball player of all time. And I was just like, oh. <laughs> class act. He's a class act. I loved Big Poppy too. I liked a lot of the Red Sox, honestly, growing up. Like, obviously we got Johnny Damon, but I loved him on the Sox too with the caveman look. Oh, amazing. But no, but oh, well, David Ortiz. But besides David Ortiz, like who's cooler than Pedro Martinez, dude? dude like Manny Ramirez, dude. Manny, if my brother wants a Manny Mar- Ramirez tattoo, so like, that's badass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Liam, we'll stop talking about baseball. <laughs> Holy hell! I didn't know you could talk about baseball <laughs> for that I long. Was- I didn't know it was possible. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just over here with my own thoughts. Like, oh my god, how was it? How was the baseball talk? Was it good? It was good. Are you a gambler at all, Owen? Oh, I'm uh, a big gambler. Thank you for asking me. <laughs> I'm a I'm a huge I love gambling. It's like if I could choose between like smoking weed, drinking, and gambling, I pick gambling. Really? Yeah. But I don't sports gamble because uh. because one time I did and I went up five thousand and then down three thousand and uh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. And then just like and I was I was betting on like golf and like college basketball and like German soccer. I was like I like bet on one game and one, and then I was like, oh fuck! I didn't realize I could gamble from my couch. <laughs> and then oh, I just, yeah. <laughs> but I'm a huge casino guy. I love the casino. I love blackjack. Uh, play a lot of blackjack. I'm a big I'm a big sports gambler. I can't do the casino life. It's not for me. Oh, I love the casino, dude. Ripping cigs, throwing money down. But my favorite thing to do is play. You ever play CeeLo, like dice? Oh, hell yeah. I just, dude, I just came up like 200 bucks on 4th of July. God damn. Hell yeah. You only play with dollar bills. Oh. Yeah, that, that's freedom. Dollar bills until everyone was like drunk and we're like $20 roll. There's like, <laughs> you're like. <laughs> Coming up fat. The first, so we did all $1 and then I convinced everybody to do a $20 and then rolled a four or five, six. It was just oh, like. man. Catch the yeah. <laughs> I need to come up on a fat bag right now. I got a lot of money going on tonight. I can win. I can win a lot of money tonight if if all Wait, goes how well. Much, how much? What are you were you, no, don't say how much you could win. Make up Enough. a number. What are you betting? Okay. On? All right. I have parlays in. I have actually two parlays in the uh, the Suns Bucks game, and then I bet on Phil Mickelson and Tom Brady to win against Aaron Rodgers and Bryson DeChambeau, and then I have a couple baseball parlays going on too. Oh hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah. <laughs> Big money to be won, baby. Rent's yep. getting paid. The Red Sox are hot, dude. The Red Sox mm. are hot. I, be, I almost better get – who are the Sox playing today? They're playing the Angels, aren't they? Oh, hey, Otani. oh, Otani's pitching, right? Yeah. I didn't want to bet against Baseball is miserable, guys. It's <laughs> fucked up. Baseball is my favorite sport because I'm a boring, straight, white yeah, man. Yeah, that's fucking – that's what that means. I think that's baseball is means. probably my favorite game to go. Like, I love day games for baseball. Oh, Very dude. fun to go to. It's a great at- thing to go to. Yankees, July 27th. I think. You perform in there? You opening up? I'm opening. Yeah. I'm doing- <laughs> I'm doing yeah. A- and then right before, I'm going to go out for opening pitch, but just do a tight hour. Then- <laughs> <laughs> just keep like alluding to the fact that you are right, one more joke. Just, like, you know what I mean? But it just never ends. Like, like I, 
leave you with this and then just like 40. yeah yeah <laughs> it's just crushing crushing the whole time the stadium's going wild they yeah they're go, like fuck baseball <laughs> it's like fuck a rain it. delay because you're just going on and on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's That's a mean rain delay <laughs> That's good. Um, I haven't gotten that gig yet. I've been trying pretty hard for it. Um, no, for the game. Yankees. No, I'm going for the Yankees. I'm going for the, the Yankees. Oh, okay. right. I Come hear there's more down. money in it. I also just want to go to New York, check it out. You know, well, the, see the sights. The Yan- Hold up. My PC is running low. I thought it was plugged in. Let me just do this quick. Oh, and it's just oh. us. Look at that. Liam, have you have you thought about moving to New York? For comedy yeah i think it would be i don't know i want to be ready for it though when i do it you know what what, i mean like i I, want, I think i'm gonna try to do i have a year lease that literally renewed this month mm-hmm. and then i might try and do austin for a year get a million reps in because yeah. when I'm talking to this kid who, who lived in new york for four years and did comedy and he was like, dude, I still was like paying to get on open mics and like barking. Oh, fuck that. No, I'm, out. I'm out. Fuck that city. 9 11. Never mind. Don't know what and I was going to say. That. Basically said, dude, if you're going to move to New York, you should already be getting books. So when you get there, like, because he, and he was funny, dude. He was like a good comic. And yeah. he was like, I had to pay to get on open mics. And I was like, Jesus Christ, dude. Like five bucks, but still. Like, that adds up hard, like heavy, real fast like like 10 a week <laughs> yeah 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 damn that's wild it's like a but, tax like summer i'm gonna try and move to austin and then just whatever like i said i got that job with a big raise so i'm just like yeah, yeah. i'm gonna make mad money and then i'm gonna move to austin and be able to take like a month or two off settle in hit a million mics hopefully get booked and then like get a job and then live there for at least like a year that's a really years. solid plan Dude, Holly. Really plan. Yeah. What? That girl Holly is killing yeah. it out there. Did one Kill Tony set and immediately got put on a show. That's what's up. Good In for Austin? Her. She's, she's funny. Yeah. I've heard good things about Austin from Liam. Yeah, I don't know. I just like, I worry that it, like, do you think it's going to last forever? Like, now I heard well, like comics are anything. Like, migrating to other cities again. Like, well, here. Right now, there's like two clubs that are being built and opening. So I feel like the comedy's mm. only going to get stronger. Like, I think it's the new LA. I mean, you like, were there yeah. on the ground. You were there on the ground. So you'd know better than me. Yeah, dude. It was like, there was, if if you were like determined, you could have done 20 mics in a week easy. No shit. I think I wow. did like 12 and I was just like drinking and like having fun. Yeah, because it's like a vacation still, so I understand that. Saturday, didn't do anything, like just drank. Sunday, there was three mics, and I think I did two. And then by the third one, started at like mad late. And I was like, I'm just cocked. Like, I'm not, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, and then like, but like, I like skipped some where I was like, oh, I don't want to get an Uber. Like, I just want to be able to walk to it. Like, shit like that. Where like, if mm-hmm. I lived, I'd be like, not just getting hammered and be like, yeah, I can like drive to this place. You're like, yeah. Yeah, it's it was popping, and I feel like it's only getting crazier. Like I follow a bunch of dudes from there, mm-hmm. and they all now are just like like a bunch of dudes I met that were open micers are getting booked constantly down there. Fuck it, you sold me on it, bro. When 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 are you when are you moving? When are you moving? A, a year from this month, next July. My lease is up next July. Mine Might is too early for me. I don't know. You're moving. Come, you're moving out, Mike. Yeah, I'll come to Austin. Austin. Oh, okay. no. Mike, I want to move you... to Montana. Fucking move to Austin if you're gonna move to Montana. You fucking idiot. I want to get farther away into the mountains, though. Yeah, they're pretty tight. I understand that too. That's a whole other side of me that I just love. I love. Boise, That's Idaho true. is blowing yeah. up too. Oh yeah, I got some buddies that worked out in Sun Valley last summer. Idaho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? That's where like a bunch of billionaires go to do things billionaires do if you know what yeah. i mean yeah during the summer ernest hemingway i think killed himself there shout out it's pretty badass no free plugs but shout out <laughs> no free plugs bleep the name yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh my god uh, i need so fucking you, water you're for real yeah i'm very thirsty i don't know what it is um 
No, I'm never not thirsty though. I drink a lot of water. Me too, man. It's because I piss a lot. I just I just love it. It's better than sex. Uh, Owen. Yeah. Uh, you're kind of selling me on this Austin thing. Yeah, I'm dead serious about it. Uh, yeah. I think it's like it's like moving to LA when LA was new and cheap. That's. You really think it's going to be like long lasting? Yeah. See, I think like people like what LA is not going to go away though. You know. No, LA is not going to go away, but I think the comedy scene like that was in la is is either going to be between la and austin or Mm -hmm. like at this point so many people have moved there that i think it's going to be just as good obviously you don't have like tv opportunities but i don't know how you feel i don't give a shit i just want to be a stand-up i don't really want to be like a actor or like a writer i don't like i would take a writing job don't get me wrong like uh, that's not what I want to do, and I feel like it has, I feel like it has the opportunities to get on stage just as much as LA, but with mm. like cheaper rent. That's yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that's what matters. Didn't I mean, Joe yeah, Logan I, moved I, to I Austin. Like, yeah, and that's like where why everyone fucking moved to Austin. To be honest, I mean, for good reason. He's he's got the biggest show on fucking earth. But yeah, I'm with you, Owen. At least right now, I mean, it'd be. I think it'd be cool to do like. You know, I, I'm constantly just saying no to movie and TV roles, you know? Yeah, same. Um, As well, a national headliner. Um, yeah, they just see you and they're like, Liam, you're a national headliner, you're handsome, be in this movie across from Johnny Depp. And you're yeah. like... Oh. And I'm like, I don't... I can't. Johnny Depp, his whole thing is looking good. I'd make him look bad. And that would fuck up the whole vibe. And, yeah. um... Bye. Fuck up the whole vibe. But, uh... No. Dude, if I was working with Johnny Depp, I'd be, I'd be like, yo... I love Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> if I was working with Johnny Depp, I'd be like, hey, man, if I was going to fuck one dude. <laughs> and you He's would not there. be working with him for yeah. very long. <laughs> he would fuck and you. Get the fuck out of my fucking movie, dude. Yeah, he's like, hey, man. Hey, hey. Uh, I get that all the time. Thanks. Thanks, man. It's, it's, I, it's kind. It creeps me out, but it is kind, I think. So It's meant as a compliment. Like, oh, yeah. Creepy. You want to do some cocaine and talk about how my ex-wife beat the shit out of me? If I was Johnny Depp and blow, I would let it snow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a that's a, that's a line. That is a line. Who under, said it, Liam? Double entendre. Under no. See what I said was a double a line, right? Double entendre because it was a rapper. We're talking about Mac Miller. Mac Miller said that on the Star Room, I think, off of his Red album. Watching movies with the sound off. Word association, I got there. I think I'm going to throw up, dude. Good, good podcast material. Yeah, honestly, I've just been sitting here gradually getting dizzier and dizzier. And I'm like, right. I think I might vomit. Is it just like super hot in there? or dude, like- Not even. I don't know. I think I'm just malnourished, maybe. Did you try? Mm-hmm. I don't. <laughs> well, I don't want you to start eating again. <laughs> I gotta Don't want this figure. You gotta stay lean. Yeah, for the cameras. We need this I show to... to be successful. Yeah, I know. I you know, know, that was a wrong thing for me to imply. Eating disorders are a very real thing, I hear. I've been watching the show Physical on Apple TV, and it's about a girl with bulimia. Hmm. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. I bet. You're... Shout out. No free plugs. No free, no free plugs. I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> bulimia? No, I said, how about don't throw up after you eat? It's pretty easy. I've been doing it my whole life. <laughs> don't you don't know, me. dude. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> hey. I think. You don't, don't say know. that. You don't, you don't, say, <laughs> don't say that. Don't say that. You don't, you don't want to say that. That's bad, right? It, you I know, feel like eating disorders are very real. So is, so, is, so is COVID. Um, just like COVID yeah, right. is real. It's as real as COVID is, right? Yeah, I don't know. We got to earn some points here with the de- uh, Dems. With the like, I'm like, but I'm not yeah. like, I'm thick, guys. Help. <laughs> like, how, uh, how much? <laughs> I'm just not gonna. Say that again oh, one more time. For the cameras. What the- say, say what you just said again. What were you talking about? I said ca- calling bulimia a sickness is like calling alcoholism a sickness. Like, yeah, I'm an alcoholic, but I could <laughs> up. I just don't. Like, That's fair. 
That's fair. Even though the fair. American Medical Association does call alcohol define it as a disease. Yeah, uh, because they're fucking idiots, dude. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! You know what? We're, we're, we were we were about to land that sponsor. We oh, could have had. Sorry, are they our sponsors? They're, they they no, wanted to we be. were they, in the we're early in works. They in talks. We're in, we were gonna be like. I was gonna hey, be pushing Adderall. Taiwan's you, not real. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fuck Taiwan. Please help me. <laughs> <laughs> Please. I'm yeah, begging. I didn't mean to bring up politics here, but uh, how much do you miss Donnie? I hate you. <laughs> oh, if I'm here, we go. Here we go. We got a smart man about to say something <laughs> brilliant. Here we go. If I'm being honest, I thought Joe Biden would be funnier. And I just never see him. So I'm pissed. I'm like, what the, like, Damn. I just would have gold clips every day. Like, if they just let him get on a podium and just have dementia, it would be <laughs> so. <laughs> I saw a conspiracy the other day, Owen, that, uh, that this is not Joe Biden. It is an actor hired to play Joe Biden. And I'm just curious how you feel about that. Do they have any like uh, anything to back it up? Are they very like, little, very <laughs> little? Like, I know they're probably not legitimate reasons, but do they like have like bullet points? Uh, I didn't hear that. I think it was just some QAnon shit. I don't know. Yeah, if, I was gonna say on. they have they have some like severe things wrong with them, and Allegedly. they're projecting. I think. Well, well, I don't know if they've ever seen Joe Biden before, but this guy, if he's yeah, there, that's he a real deal. <laughs> Oscars, dude like 13 14 oscars off rip like that yeah. Maybe he's the johnny guy. depp of joe biden's honestly he's, dude he's like fail in the machine times 10 it's mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny that is that is uh that is quite good Yo, I have to give my song of the week because i have a hard stop i have a project to do for work because i'm oh, slave right, to right. corporate america God right. bless. You guys can keep running it. I'm going to give my song of the week. Oh, man. I don't even know what it's going to be. I don't have anything in my head right now. It's oh, at, the, at the end of the episodes, we, we add a, uh, a positive song to a playlist to keep the vibes going. Oh, do you have a playlist on Spotify that you add to every week? Oh, yeah. So when we get, when we get to that point, we're going to ask for your input. Mine is and, Ball uh, If I Want To by Baby. Oh, I like this fucking one. banger. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, it ain't even my birthday, but I can still ball if I want to. Stop. We're going to get fucking taken off the YouTube, bro. Shit. That was too good. That was fucking spot on. Mm -hmm. Play mm -hmm. the baby. Play the baby. All right. Uh, okay. Shout out to the baby. We'll, we'll give him a free plug. Okay. I love you guys. Yeah, Yo, you're fucking right. the baby, dude. Your luck. <laughs> the baby gets all the plugs. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Goodbye. All right. Later, Mike. Take care. I'm going to talk about how I'm going to kill someone in a Walmart to get famous. You should kill someone in a Walmart. That's what happened to the baby. Did you know that? That's why he blew up. What, he killed someone in a Walmart? Someone tried to rob him and he like fucking chopped the shit out of him and they died. Really? I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Yeah. And then he got signed to Interscope, I think. Anything about this dude. I don't know who he is. Oh, he's or... good. Fucking I love the baby. He's got some great fucking songs. But I don't listen to any of his music. Or you should, you should listen about. to all of it. Uh, it's not for me. It's not for you. Not for me. There feels like some racial undertones there, but I'm going to move past it. Uh, I black artists, just not the baby. That felt rehearsed. I but, heard that in the mirror so many times. Is insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was let good. Me, it was good. Look at this and tell me if this is is um, convincing. I don't hate black people was that convincing I, I see some potential in you it's potential okay there's potential in you yeah for sure for sure i um where do you want to go from here what do you want to talk about what is what what do you what do you want to explore um i don't know i want to i want to talk to you about how you got to hosting the woo ha, ha and on Nick's 
No, we can't talk about that. We can't talk about that. I think that's super cool. I'm sorry. Like, what, like, I knew, like, before, I feel like you were doing stand up and getting booked, then the pandemic happened, and then afterwards you got booked 10 times more. And it's, yeah, I was like, what, did he suck someone's dick or did he just? I was in the right place at the right time. I think that's awesome. I think the right person had my number and just like reached out at, uh, a good time and they you know they needed a door guy and i was like thumbs because you just hell yeah like fuck oh, thanks doc thank you I, I always see people getting books and i'm like i see them at open mics dude and like 10 comics have a better set than them every week yeah. and then you started getting like gigs and working doors at clubs and i was like fuck yeah finally somebody that i think deserves yeah, getting it is fucking getting it like I'm not thank gonna- you games obviously but i see people get booked all like literally four times a week type shit and i'm like what is yeah, that it's a weird what is that it's a weird industry right yeah it's fucking strange dude i don't know you're you'll be there's like you'll you know it just kind of like you know we, we had three comics leave our scene right like six technically included if you include the deaths unfortunately but include what the the people that died um, that were part of the scene but the i don't know it just there was more openings and i just got lucky and that just seems to be how it goes i think like but yeah yeah i don't know i've seen it go the other way so many times we're someone that just doesn't deserve shit like i've i've seen them at open mic they're not that good and then they just like suck people's dicks and then they like get booked and yeah i never suck no dick i never suck no yeah dick. I've, that's why yeah. i was jokingly like yo whose dick did he suck but like really <laughs> like good like good dude finally someone who funny and i've seen put in like you're at every fucking open mic like six days a week but like, i was like finally because it's like people that show up like two open mics and have like half-hearted sets then just get like booked at like real clubs yeah. what the fuck dude like it, it, not, none of it made sense to me at all and then like then i started getting booked and i'm like oh yeah None of this makes sense to me now. Like, it's yeah. like, you know, in sense. I mean, like, I've seen, like, I've seen people that, like, I know, like, the only reason I know their names, I'm like, oh, this person has been booked on a million shows. And then they show up to an open mic. And I'm like, I don't know if they wrote all these jokes in the car outside or like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, yeah that's bad. Like, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I'm with you on that. I, I totally, you know, I, it is interesting because sometimes, you know, you see people in the shows and you're like, man, fuck, I wish, you know, like you or Tim or Ke- like someone like, Dude. you know, off the top of my head, you know, like I think, could I think fit those response. But I think Tim is like the best writer like that I know. Yeah. Like he's, yeah, yeah. So bad at he's a genius. Yeah. And I'm, how is he not booked four times a week? I don't know. Well, like, I will say he'll be he'll be doing he, he better be fucking doing well for himself because he just. He he had like he one of the best oh, he murdered murdered Nick. Dude, he's so good. S- straight, Shit. straight, yeah. Stuff is so well written and like obviously wicked funny, but it's like only like a really smart person could write the jokes he writes too, mm-hmm. which just makes me like it way more. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Not like my penis and like <laughs> like sure he has like one liners about his dick, but like everybody does, yeah. right? But like you yeah, gotta, you got to build time. You got to build time. You know. Yeah, the other day, the other day, he was telling me that he was je- he was like, I'm never jealous of anybody's joke, but you know the stupid toaster strudel come joke I do. Yeah. He was like, he was like, dude, I'm so jealous of that. It's like the best misdirect ever. And I was just like, yeah, dude, it's really solid. You're jealous of anything? Like, I'm pumped. I was like, I think yeah. you're like, writer, like that I know. <laughs> like that's. Yeah. I was no, like, dude, Tim. I- Tim's good, and and he's one of those comics that I'll like, you know fucking pat you on the back and be like hell yeah he's, he's just a good person too as well as a comic yeah. but this nice. isn't the tim champa show so all right you know all right he, ending the tim champa show ending the tim champa show just check him out he's on a uh, blog spot google plus um check him siampa yeah siampa siampa it's it's good stuff it's good stuff i am i'm a big fan of his work though honest to god when I saw him, like, I don't know, I did, like, good at Next for sure, but, like, Tim leveled it, and it was just like, oh, hold on. Why did I One. just get 
college headshot. Is that your LinkedIn fucking picture? Yes. All right. Hey, literally? Yeah, for sure. Uh, hilarious. I'll, I just I'll, it was my Tinder profile pic for uh, a longer time, I would say. Dude. Do people still, should I be using LinkedIn? I should probably be using LinkedIn, I, right? I used LinkedIn. I had to make one for a college class and I never used it again. Um, I don't know I'm an it. intimate okay. now. I always get emails, like people are viewing your profile and I'm like, well, I'm 19 in that picture and I didn't have any jobs and it hasn't been updated since. Yeah. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page there. Cause uh, I mean, I feel like if you're like, uh, I don't know, a person that's like really into your job and stuff, like you should use LinkedIn. I'm just, yeah, I just want to do comedy. So I'm like, eh. yeah, I'm no, like, I'll just, like just, just interview me. I'll crush it. We'll get along. We won't even talk about the job. We'll just talk. You yeah. don't want me on your team. Life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, so why are you at this job? Super you funny. Know? The job I got when I was in the interview. So like, I don't know why I would say this to somebody because it doesn't make you sound like a good person. But he oh, was God. like, you like outside of work. And I just like immediately I was like, oh, fuck. Like I do. I'm a stand up comic. Like I do like a lot of comedy. And then I was like, oh, fuck. He probably thinks I'm like a drug addict. And like, uh, <laughs> like which is all true. But I don't want them to know that. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. They got to you got to you got to pull back those layers slowly. And then I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And then he was just like, dude, that's so cool. Like, blah, 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 started talking to me. And I was like, yeah, I'm actually going to Austin, like, next week, to." Wow. Oh, I thought he was, like, just saying you're going to move. And he was like, like, oh, so you're, like, legit. That's fucking dope, dude. I just realized I turned my AC on when I got here. And the, one of the mm. windows open. I was like, why is it, like, not getting cold in here? Wow. Wow. Ugh, that's yeah. hilarious. That's terrible. I'm sorry. Uh, you just committed yeah. global warming. Checking all the fucking windows. <laughs> No, dude, I've had um, uh, some similar experiences. Uh, I I was told in college, like, I would have, uh, like, you know, conventional wisdom to me was like, you know, I should probably try and hide any of this stuff from employers. Like, you know what I mean? That I, yeah. That I do yeah, exactly. comedy. And, like, and uh, I was in, like, a professional development class in college. And, like, someone, I don't know, I don't know, a teacher knew that I did comedy. And then she was like, oh, this is, that's on, like, your resume. And I'm like, no. Like, and she's like, what do you, why not? It makes you sound very interesting. And it would stand out. And I was like, because I don't want them knowing about it. And they're like, put it on there. And to her credit, professional, it's like one of the, you know, things you put on the side, like professional comedian, right? Yeah. Which you, which you can say when you, when you get paid, even if it's just $15 at a, like, shitty, like, club. Yeah, exactly. You're a professional comic. Have you been paid? what i said technically you've been paid but... yeah that's professional that is professionalism so i threw it on that shit and uh it in every interview has come up and it, it becomes something we talk about for like a good while and they're just like i don't know i think they i think they're looking for you to talk about something passionately to see that that's something like that's a valuable thing they see in employees yeah i uh, what was i gonna say i didn't have it on my resume and yeah he just asked me like you know we talked about what was on my resume and like what you know i did at my last job and then yeah that's when he was like oh what do you do like in your spare time and then we talked about me doing comedy for 10 minutes at least and i was just yeah, like exactly yeah and then i was just like telling him i don't know i was like just about like what it's like and like why i like it and i was like yeah yeah and that's super cool and now it's funny too the guy who interviewed me just got promoted to like um the engineering manager so he's now managing all the engineers and I've only been there like maybe three months, but he just fucking loves me. So I'm so mm. pumped I started when I did because like I got to know him for a couple of months and now he's my manager and I'm just like, oh, dude, like that's fucking sick. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, it is. It's I don't know. I also could see it um, backfiring and I'm expecting the other ball to drop at some point. You know, you get some tweet that goes viral and you're out. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that might happen. Yeah, well, yeah. dude, one of my coworkers, uh, like, right when I started. So everybody knew I was a comedian immediately because, like, the guy who interviewed me told everybody. Yeah, that's what happened to me at a job, too, which I, I did not like. I thought was not good. Because then he made like me tell jokes to some of the coworkers. Yep. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, I guess I was going to pretend to be a guy 
And now I, um, I'm going to tell you some really heinous shit and we're in really close proximity and this isn't the right environment for any of this, but no. uh, here we go. I refused when they asked me to tell them jokes. I was like, no, yeah. I was like, if you want to hear me tell jokes, you can come to a show. And if yeah. you don't want to do that, then whatever. But so one of my coworkers came to a show like two weeks into the job. I got, I was doing the fucking, the uh, play, the old beatniks. Um, sure. One eyed jacks or whatever now. Yeah. Um, but so he showed up, and I also, so he's an Asian dude. I thought he was like 30, 35 tops. Um, came with his girlfriends, liked it, whatever, had fun. But I found out like last week that this dude's like 46 or something. And I was just like, oh, God. Like, I was like, I thought he was like close to my age. And I was like talking about doing cocaine and like banging chicks with STDs. And I was just like, wow. I was like, oh, God, dude. I was like, <laughs> yeah i i had a very similar relationship with a another former um employer like a lot of a lot of crossing the same boxes except for the uh the illicit stuff i never i've never done anything bad i'm a spotless record um, spotless spotless as, as any seventh grader with mono spotless record i know what you're talking about these are just <laughs> allegations but uh allegedly cosby's on he's off they let him go <laughs> i couldn't have happened at a funnier Cosby's time getting that off Spears thing happened and then that it, i thought that was the funniest thing ever wait what happened because like Brit, everyone was like free. oh britney spears oh yeah yeah like, uh, and then just like randomly bill cosby got let go and it just then every meme was like man like we said free britney not cosby and i was just like well you know, and it was also, <laughs> I shouldn't say this on a podcast, but I will. Oh, here we go. Uh, this girl posted this whole long thing about how the justice system, oh. like, um, rigged against women and how Britney Spears lost. And I messaged her and I was like, really? That's funny. Because last week you said it was rigged against black men. <laughs> and they asked me, got out. And I yeah, was yeah. Shitting it's rigged off. against money, I think, more than anything. But also yeah. Britney Spears is yeah. hella fucking rich. So what the fuck? Well, she's like being like controlled or whatever and like has no free will, I think. But yeah, she, her life sucks. I um, haven't been keeping up with it, but I don't know anything about it. I'm sure her that life song sucks. Toxic, pretty bang. Well, that was a banger, right? Yeah, banger, dude. Banger. Total banger. Total banger. That's all I know about her. Um, I would, I would also banger if that's what you're wondering. Oh, she's been through enough, though. She's been through enough. She's been through enough. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Her life's been easy. It's smooth sailing up until my she needs yeah. to have a struggling comedian to really bring her back down to earth. That would that might <laughs> that might do just that. That just might that might be what that is. After he said that might just trying to think of something that might make that less terrible was well, awful. No, no, it wasn't it was no big deal. It was no big deal. Uh Britney Spears, as far as we know, is belongs in a, like you know maybe she's crazy maybe she's just crazy i tried to bring this argument up like last week to a couple yeah of not a good time to bring it up i just figured what the hell i'd help you i'd help you out by saying something I like, didn't, they, i'll tell you that much they did not enjoy it there, yeah I was, well what if, i was like what if hear me out what if she's actually fucking out of her mind and has like no no like you should not have a child like nothing and they're like well so many people don't have children i was like yeah but they're not britney spears like i don't know like yeah yeah like, so crazy like she could have a child have millions of dollars and then like install fucking wings on her child i don't know like she could do whatever the fuck she wants a fucking great idea yeah flying i, I would hope that she did that actually call with him, the, with call the, him dragon boy and just put dragon, some, boy, dragon, dragon boy dragon boy it's writes, what up? Writes a whole album about him or something yeah he's a boy he's a dragon he's a boy he's a, that's good that is yep. That's some good riffing right there. What we're doing. Uh, that is this game of what? thrones. That's game, game of thrones. thrones. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Mm. Would you? Um, damn, we're just talking about Brittany. I don't know if what the like you know we're 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 kind of uh, probably being insensitive here. Who knows? But I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with the Britney Spears situation to assume that she was crazy. But I have like. And I, I'm not trying to compare these two. It's not a one to one, okay? I'm not trying to all compare right, these all two. Right. So it's exactly a one to one comparison. Go on. Yeah. Do you ever listen to like um 
was a huge podcast like uh a few years back called serial it was put out by npr no i uh, fuck all right it was just the, the long short of it it was a true crime podcast but it was like it was about a guy who went to prison over the murder of his high school girlfriend okay okay keep telling me whole- podcast i'm gonna put myself on mute so i can pee sure thing sure thing i appreciate that appreciate that um yeah so the whole uh podcast series is analyzing the crime right from a a you know an outsider's perspective and there were some weird there was some fuckery with the case i don't remember all the details but at the end of it it's still kind of open to interpretation whether or not the guy killed his girlfriend they didn't as far as i know they didn't get the guy out of prison or anything like that and i just like had me think is like yeah maybe this guy murdered his high school girlfriend and now they're turning him into a celebrity because it sells and like i respected the play i really did i just like i wish i thought of that that's a good idea you know people would love that shit using you know people love true crime but if you can get there get involved yourself with the the case itself people are gonna go they're gonna go crazy for it you can sell t-shirts you can sell merch all sorts of other type of merch besides t-shirts you know would be it'd be uh it'd be really something but yeah the whole time I, I was listening to it i was just thinking like i don't know it's still possible the guy could have killed his girlfriend but now he's just famous as hell you know what i'm saying i believe you're done peeing oh i've been done i forgot to unmute uh, no that's why i kept talking i was <clears> trying to see how what was i gonna say dude well like yeah okay they made they made that dude famous and maybe he's a murderer maybe he's not but how time like ten times more famous than make Ted Bundy with that fucking like Bundy too? Like yeah, but Ted that Bundy was hundred percent fucking yeah. Like yeah, you know what I mean. Ted, so Ted like, Bundy is hot though as fuck, and I don't. I it was a podcast, so I don't even know what the guy looks like, really. You know. Yeah. But Ted Bundy, like that's a that's a fucking you make movies about that guy. Get Zac Efron on that shit. Sex him up. Well, here's here's the thing. Ah, uh, fuck. Now I'm I'm trying to think what comedian it is. A uh, comedian has a hilarious bit about people calling Ted Bundy and uh, one other one other serial killer hot. I forget. Manson. I forget. There was some. It, it it doesn't it doesn't really matter for the bit. He never really killed him. Old, was CIA. old joke. I wish I could. Ah, fuck. I can't shout out to comedian because I don't remember who it was. I want to say it was Greg Fitzsimmons, but it might it might not have been him. Uh, okay. Anyway fucking the whole bit was basically like no he's just good looking for a serial killer he's out of like the pool of like the grossest looking people and he looks like if i was a serial killer i'd be a 10 it's like kind of like his fucking whole foot that's it's just that's hilarious. great that's he's really like, good life i'm a four but as a serial killer i'm a fucking 10 it was like his whole yeah. oh it was great it was such a yeah, good yeah i um isn't it funny that like this podcast would probably be way more popular if we just talked about like families being murdered or some shit. Like if that was our whole yeah, thing. But you know, it is what it is. Fuck that. I love you, I, one of the funniest things ever is that you and Kevin called your podcast Worcester County Murder <laughs> Podcast. That's like it wasn't and super funny. Was that your idea or Kevin's? Yeah, it was my idea. It was just like we were trying to bounce ideas <clears throat> off of each other. And I was like, we should make it something Worcester County related. And he's like, well, what if we ever move? And I'm like, we're not moving anytime soon. Like, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, I don't know. We were just like shouting out ideas. And I think I was on a similar, I was just like thinking about popular podcasts or whatever. Uh, I, someone was talking to me about it, like search engine optimization that day. And I was just like, what's like the most popular like type of podcast? And it's true crime. And I was like, what if we just like called a comedy podcast? like something that sounds like a true crime podcast we're gonna like and it's like it's like it's like funny i guess of an idea but anyone that comes to it expecting a true crime podcast and got what they got probably wouldn't be psyched about it so we did try and like talk about murders and we would make it funny every once in a while that's pretty that's pretty good dude. yeah but it felt it felt very dirty so uh i don't know man i think that's just hilarious and i think you guys should 
Dude, I think you should like make fun of people that listen to true crime podcasts on it. Like that's what you should. Yeah, do. we we did try. We did we did a little bit of that, and it was like, I guess because it brings back to the point. Like I think true crimes is kind of ridiculous. Like of a of a genre and shit. Like it relies totally on someone living or going through a tragedy. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> So like, all right, someone's life was ruined. And that's captivating. To like hundreds of people's lives ruined. Let's make this a TV show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> let's oh, let's yeah. capitalize on this, baby. Yeah. Like, and let's if they're turn hot, this forget about it. Into fucking beers. You know what money, I mean? Money, 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 money. I um I was gonna talk about some serial killer stuff there, but that would be against the uh Yo, your- Ted Bundy once um, killed two women in the same day in Seattle. He's killed more women in a day than I've had sex with. Think about that. Wow, that is that's poem. That's heavy. That's heavy thinking. It's fucking that's pretty fucked up. Heavy hangs the crown. That's heavy hangs the crown. Better at killing women than I am at having sex with them. And I'm not good at having sex with them, but like I think I'd be better at having sex with them than the guy murdering them. Apparently not. That's reasonable. That doesn't seem unreasonable to me. Yeah, unatta- I, mean, I at least I've probably fucked more girls in a day than the guys murdered. Apparently not. No, 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 no. I um, I've never had sex, so that's good for you, dude. Good for you. You're I'm saving un- it for marriage. Let's uh, let's fuck. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting. That is a development I didn't expect. Yeah. Not something I'd consider. Well, Doesn't mean it's off the table, but we're not in the same room right now. It's not. Happening. I don't know. What's going to happen is every time it happens, bro. It's ha- like okay, okay. It was at a, It was in high school, right? And you know, I was with, I was with my girlfriend, and we were gonna try, you know, to have sex. And I just started like convulsing. I still came, but I'm sorry. I had dude. like a panic no, attack. I can't tell if you're being serious or not right now, and it's it's uh, awesome. Actually. That's exactly what she said. All right. That's and, okay. And um, <laughs> I've tried a few times since, and it's always gone the same way. It's not for me. Liam, I feel like you absolutely lay pipe, dude. And you're just using this as a veiled. Like, I, I, I haven't, I haven't even, I haven't even. Dude, you're like 6'6". Six, six. Your dick is probably huge. Shut up. You fucking. <laughs> piece of shit <laughs> everyone fucking thinks it's awesome it's not <laughs> it's it's hell actually is what it is yeah because you're like it's hell you're like if i was you and i was five yeah six, had a constantly normal size dick it's not a big deal but I'm now i'm here i am six four with a with a five six size penis i'm still I'm, irish as hell bro it's yeah no like, all right so your dick is a little stubby i wasn't it's fucking dude in the foreskin's missing Oh, my foreskin has been gone, dude. I wasn't yeah, certain right. I got bit off in a tragic dog river accident. Damn, you probably felt 30% more statistically. Yeah, it was pretty bad. I um I had to sell mine last Sold summer. It. Sold it. Yeah, good, good um Did you get good good resell return? opportunity. Yeah. yeah, actually I did. R O A. Yeah, really strong ROI year over year too. It, um, it comes with dividends essentially and other mark uh, stock market talk, you know. But um, are you a big stock guy? No, but I did actually. Um, when You're COVID a crypto happened, guy, when COVID happened and everything like plummeted, my yeah. sister in the stocks. Like, if you ever wanted to buy, just buy now. Um, and like everyone's story about buying stocks, there was one that she told me to buy, but it was like, hey, be careful. Like it's new. It was Carvana. Carvana. Ah, oh, there was some good opportunity. It blew there. the fuck up, dude. Yeah. And like she was like, hey, like buy. She she messaged me like six different ones. I was like, these are the ones I recommend. And recommended like three. And then she's like, also be careful with Carvana. Like it's new, whatever. So I bought like like normal shit. I bought like Norwegian Cruise Line, Disney. Mm. And like um, Southwest Airlines or something. Sure. 500 in each. 
and like they're all up like over a hundred percent which is yeah. fucking so like i think and and then i bought more like after that i, I haven't Smart. lost money on any of them but i'm That's up well. like i think i put in like 2700 and i'm up like three grand so like hell fucking yeah i made enough like it, it feels good but i'm just like oh if i bought carvana when she told me to buy it was like nine dollars and now it's at like 170 yeah so if i just put like 500 bucks in that yeah it would have been yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It, it um i'm happy i got into it when i got into it um because i think it is like a smart way to handle your money if you're smart about it Are but you- also like in it in it like you like do you like day something i'm something, I'm like something between I think will be good i did for a minute day trade but it just it's fucking it's, it's pretty stressful and I like, was say, it sounds so stressful dude yeah it, re- it really is and like i don't i i didn't have like the, the capital like to really be fucking yeah uh, yeah fucking with it long term but like how much, i could how much see it invested in it if you don't mind me asking like a lot or like a yeah yeah, I mean, I like, uh, yeah, I, I'll say over I'm up under 10 grand, over under 10 grand, under 10 grand for sure. Okay, I'm a kid right. out of college, bro. Keep in fucking perspective. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, I don't have fucking that much. Right. Make yeah. sure that you didn't have like $15,000 in stocks. I was like, no, 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 no. But like, you know, I, I did get into playing with what I had and you, you know, day trading, it's all percentages. So it's like, you know, I got into it. I made some fuck. I made crazy money very fast. And then you'd have a couple, you'd have multiple days where you don't. And like, were you it's in just a- like you said, like, it's sort of, it's, so th- it was interesting when you were talking about gambling earlier. I like, it is the same thing with stocks. Exactly. The same, the exact same thing. Just like you can convince yourself you're thinking more about it. <laughs> it's like, huh? The stocks are like gambling for smart people with a lot of money. That's like- yeah. Stocks are like gambling, but the, 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 you know, the future of the world is in the hands of the people putting money in places. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's like just there's real world consequences. It doesn't just involve you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, the, did you follow that whole like GameStop thing that went down? Well, yeah. That's what I was going to ask you. Were you in on GameStop or no? I wasn't in, in on GameStop. And if I was in, in on GameStop, I wouldn't be on this podcast. I'd be fucking well, no, no, but on I a mean, beach like if, if you snorting got coke. Sin and like make it a thousand. <laughs> like, uh, no, I made, I think like probably $800 off GameStop, which for what I put in, which was like, like probably a hundred or something. Like, Worth I don't it. know. Worth yeah, it. yeah. My problem was I, I held on. And like I could have sold, I could have made way more money on it. Like how much? Three thirty-five hundred. Probably like thirty-five percent, like lower when I sold when from the max. I made a good amount of money off Doge too, but I would have made a lot more money off Doge if I fucking sold everything else. It was peaking. Yeah. But we, you know, we we got to wait and see on that one. At this point, I'm just holding the bag, so I'm still up. But like, yeah, everything I've ever bought, I just held. I've just held, and I think it's just gonna get more. Like I bought, I straight up meme stock. The only one I bought where I was like, "Yo, this is just a fucking meme." I bought a shit ton of Nokia. I was like, "Yeah, like yeah. I'm in." Is that like still going? Bucks in Nokia, and I've I've made like eighty dollars, and I'm just like, whatever. Yeah. I'm just gonna hold on to it because I also heard that like Nokia just signed some ridiculous. 5g deal with china and they're gonna do all their 5g so i'm just hoping that like the stocks go like up i don't know yeah yeah no that um that's the same yeah i heard that too i i I just i like don't know when it's gonna happen you know it's something to watch this isn't financial advice anyone listening to this point is financial advice on my half um okay you can go to jail uh take this financial advice (laughs) (laughs) This is not financial advice. Everything I said before, ignore it. You have any? You have any money in crypto? You believe in it at all? No, I do. I do believe in it, and I've fucking like ten million people probably have a story. But when I was in like yeah. high school, uh, oh yeah, I have I the story. Bought, <laughs> bought two two bitcoins. They were like oh what? They were like forty three dollars each. Yeah. I bought drugs with them off the silk road but pure mdma off the silk road with them yeah, yeah uh 
which at the time though like two bitcoin for the amount of drugs i got was like a really good deal too so i was like wow this is fucking awesome and now bitcoins are worth like ninety thousand dollars or whatever the fuck they're worth i had two like, of them I had they're mid thirty thousand right now i think but they their all-time high was like 70 i think so like yeah so yeah i had two i bought two and used them in like two days damn uh, yeah i knew about bitcoin when i was a young if, fucking if kid. I, I bought two i mean i gave my friend who was a computer nerd money and was like yeah do this <laughs> <laughs> yeah no i mean it, that sucks i never actually held it and lost it that much I know kids in college that used to buy pizza with them yeah i knew about that yeah that's fucking crazy um I don't know. I, yeah, I, I try and just hold, I guess. But, you know, you know, you got to sell at some point and you just hope that you're, you know, whatever. Safe yeah, moon. I'm like, a big safe moon believer. The funniest thing ever the other day. I'm kidding. Who, they were like, they were like, here's the thing about crypto. Like, if it all goes to shit, like, who are you going after? Like, there's no, like, recourse. And I was like, okay, so if every bank in America just tanks, like, who are you going after? Like, I don't, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. What actually, if, what happened when the banks and then all sudden, actually? What? I said, what happened when the banks tanked? Nothing. Nothing no, matters. No, like, if, if you save $20,000 and then all of a sudden your 20000 is actually worth 5000 instead of twenty, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. there's really nobody you can, like, go after. Like, it's no, yeah, definitely. Thing. So you might exact as well. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I um, it's all gambling though. It's like it's they call it speculative, and like that's just a nice way to say uh, speculated risk is just gambling. Like I could say I'm taking a speculative risk at this craps table. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm I'm taking a speculative risk, um, stealing this car from this parking lot. <laughs> I'm, stealing, you know? I'm stealing this car. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do that type of shit. Right. I'm pretty okay. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I gotta eat and shower and then go same to same it's 10 God bless. It's, i just checked the time i thought it was like nine what's that it's know. 10 fuck it's me how 10. long have we been doing this for uh, i, I started know. around like 8 30 for like an hour yeah a while yeah okay. it's been a minute it's been a minute all right good, well uh owen this is a pleasure give that, give me dude. a positive uh song to add to the playlist motherfucker positive song um let me think for a second because i yeah, listen I'm gonna to try and find one music uh, that's kind of my thing um same let me think of something positive um fuck uh, this is a hard one for me um yeah i'm on, right there with you dude this on, is a struggle uh, for me every time but on i forget if it's called sunshine or sunlight i think it's sunshine by manchester orchestra is pretty positive oh manchester's yeah good good put some yeah. manchester on no one's yeah. put uh manchester on yet so that's some respect i'm still looking well done for having i just something bought to... i just bought uh fucking tickets to see manchester orchestra and foxing together at the house that's Blue. that's tight i'm seeing the front bottoms in uh in worcester at the palladium oh yeah you ever heard of them yeah 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 i know them also before we go i guess i'll tell you this story because it's just cool sure. fucking when I was a kid, I was, I, well, I was super into like hardcore metal. That's like all I listened to when I was a kid. Um, mm -hmm. But I, one of my best friends, his stepdad was a doctor. And the guy who owns the Palladium is a lawyer. And like he was his doctor and he was his lawyer. If that makes sense. You know what I mean? They like. Wow. Used to start, so we used to get four free tickets to every single show at the Palladium. So for like four years of my life, I, and it was from when I was like 13 to like 17 ish, I just got four free tickets to every single show that came to the Palladium. So I've seen every weekend for four years, I went to two shows because I was broke teenager. And I was like, I'm getting free tickets to this. Like, why wouldn't I go? So I've seen like, I don't know, 500, 600 shows at the Palladium. Dude, that's fucking nuts. Like, like I went like two times a week for like four years. Like it was, damn. yeah, I've been. Yeah, no, there's some cool fucking shows that uh, that play there. All right, yeah, uh, I got a great song. I with a single band because like it's a Friday night. I'm 14. Yeah, yeah. So what else am I gonna? You know what I mean? I was like, well, if one of our parents will drive us to Worcester, and then my friend was three years older than me. So by the time I was 14, he was 17. He had a car. 
I was like, all right, let's go. Like, let's, <laughs> like, let's go. Do you have any go. particular acts that stand out to you? Um, I mean, the best show that uh, over that time period that I went to, um, I saw Coheed and Cambria, who was my favorite band for like Mad Long. Uh, I saw Coheed and Cambria, but also I'm pretty sure Under Oath opened for them, which is like a really weird mix of band. I don't know if you know who Under Oath is, but a really weird mix of bands. And I loved both of them. So I was like, that was That's like cool. Yeah, that was probably like the coolest show I ever went to. Um, one of the most standout, like random shows I ever went to. Um, I saw it was like a bunch of like old, like more like hair metal bands, but fucking it was when I was like 13 or 12 and Dragon Force headlined and I never heard them before. So I saw Dragon Force live for the first time ever hearing them and they were fucking like insanely just like crazy live. Like I was like, what the fuck is going on? It was just That's like crazy old fucking like Dragon, you're like, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like that song that was in uh guitar hero made them like famous but they were, yeah. yeah yeah that was pretty cool that was pretty cool that sounds dope yeah um like, we laughed and we were like who the fuck is dragon force like yeah it's it kind of a ridiculous name right free, like, like why not? and then it was like awesome and we were like what the fuck what an accurate way to describe this band like <laughs> how they are the force of dragons that dragon, makes yeah. sense yeah yeah all right, I'm digging uh, deep here. Uh, I'm going with Frank Ocean, Forrest Gump. Okay, I don't know the song, but I like Frank Ocean. He's good. I'm a big Frank Ocean guy. You're like I a lost my virginity to Frank Ocean. No. You goddamn bigot. What? I said you should have done it during June. You goddamn bigot. I Tried. am making up for lost time. All right. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure, uh, Owen. Yeah. Always. Um, uh, what was I going to say? What day is today? Tuesday? Yes. What are you doing tomorrow? Are you doing mics? Tomorrow. 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 Mics tomorrow? Where are you going? Where are you thinking of going? I think I'm going to go do what I did last week. Go, But I might hit another one in between. I'm going to go straight from work to the Model Cafe in Austin. Hmm. And then I'm either going to go from there to Hideout. I got to check out Hideout. Or from... Or from there to Tavern at the end of the world and then go to Hideout because Tavern is a normal list. Hideout is mm. a, a, a lottery, game. right? Yeah, Dude, yeah. I was there for over two hours, like trying to get called. And it was to the point where um, Liam McGurk, the host, mm. was like, who's been here since the beginning? Because we're about to get in the late block. I think when people come in late, he like puts their names off to the side. Sure. So they get like pulled before the people that got there early. And then I like waved at him and he was like, all right, like I got you. And then he put me on the next thing of comics. Like, because he cool. does like four at a time random. So at least like, you know, when you're coming up a little bit. Yeah. But that's, yeah, that's cool. it was, it was Names pretty, good. Model, model Cafe is pretty cool too. I went there and I was like second on the list, which is like usually kind of sucks. And mm. uh, no, it was packed and it was like a really good, like I had a good set and it was like yeah, just a good room. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of young people around Austin. It's like a big college area. So, shit. All right. I might be going tomorrow. I do, I'm doing a job thing tomorrow night. I'm going to leave it ambiguous because I don't know if I'm going to stick with the job or not. But um, <laughs> depending on when that gets out, I might go. If not this week, I do want to make that trek next week, though. Yeah, Wednesday. Branch Wednesday out a little more. Pretty, pretty sweet in Boston right now. That's cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah, I want to I wanna be doing stuff like more stuff out there so oh, yeah. all right uh, you all take right. care Owen. it's been a pleasure yeah Peace you out,